hey what's good y'all it's the messenger of god here and how are you guys doing this evening i know that um the last video i kind of brought to you guys i just have wanted to share with y'all a little bit of part of my life um like i said i knew it was a little bit emotional but you know what i thank the lord like i said for you know allowing me to experience the things that I, that I experienced in life because I probably wouldn't be here today if I didn't, you know, I won't even say if I didn't go through the things that I went through, but to be able to go through the things that I went through, but to be able to understand, you know, in the end of it all, to be able to understand is probably the hardest thing to actually, you know, understand. So, once you make it um, to this part in life, you know, once you find like that inner peace or, you know, you get past the, a lot of, because see, a lot of time, a lot of young folks, you know, we go through a lot of things in life. And sometimes, just like me, for instance, I went through a lot of things in life at an early age to make me be where I'm at today, you know, and by losing family members and and friends and just different people that was around me even people that i was with you know i've seen a lot of things i've saved a lot of people from suicide and you know uh you know just just a lot of things that i saw coming up in life you know i've seen people that i know on drugs and a whole bunch of things but to be able to get to this part in life not only could you just get through it, but you got to have God in order to understand it. You know, understanding is what we need. If you do not have understanding, you probably wouldn't get past it because you will be stuck in the suffering. You'll be stuck as a victim. You'll be stuck in your feelings. And it's, it's hard to tell people this type of things when you go through something because you know the only thing you can think of in your mind is just like you know don't talk to me you know like you don't understand me you don't get it you don't get you know the pain that i feel and what i've been through but you know there is a lot of us that have been through a whole lot of things you know and just know you're not alone okay just know you're not alone if you ever go through something know you are not alone okay but in order to get through it, you need to have God in your life. Trust me, to be able to understand the things that we're going through, to be able to endure the things that you're going to continue to go through until it's your time, you know, because a lot of people is living to just live and they're not living to die. And I mean, you don't want to die with a lot of, you know, let's say unanswered questions or sin or or let's say a heavy heart or or hardened heart or something on your chest that you wish you could have said or gotten off okay so that's why you you have to be able to get to a part in your life if you made it this far and you've been through a whole bunch of things now it's the time that you have to understand okay and i don't mean like try to understand like a lot of people so may say like um so I need to understand why this person had to die and I had to understand why I had to go through this. You know, I lost a lot of things, but while I was on my journey, you know, I under, I had to understand that God has something bigger for me to do. And sometimes the bigger your purpose is, the more stuff you go through. And I know a lot of people be like, you know what, I don't want to, I don't want to do it, you know, because it, it's super hard for me to... It's super hard for you to have to go through something in order to be the person you are. But that's why God chooses certain people that he feel like can bear. Because for me, it's it's hard to bear. And I'll be like, Lord, how you know that I can, how you know that I can bear this? Because I feel like I barely am making it, you know. But once I got to that part of understanding, and I mean, it may not be a lot of us out there to be able to understand. I'm telling you. It's a big step in life to understand. And when you understand, I told you, you're not living your life for you. 
you living your life for like other people you're trying to help you're trying to save by your testimony by your experience by the things you've been through okay and today i just wanted to come and talk to you guys about i had to just say that it just came out of nowhere holy spirit just leave me wherever i'm going because i just came on a whim and i you know was reading in luke chapter one and i saw the story of you know, Zachariah. And as I was reading Zachariah, I just kind of got tripped up because I was like, wait a minute. Zachariah and Elizabeth. Okay. Kind of reminds me of Abraham and Sarah because, okay, look, in the days of King Herod, right, lived a priest named Zachariah. Okay. He had a wife named Elizabeth. Okay. Which she was a descendant of Aaron. But guess what? Let me tell y'all something too, as I keep going. Okay, Zechariah was serving in the temple of Jerusalem. He was chosen by Lot to burn the incense in the sanctuary. Okay, this was the hour when people used to pray in the outer courtyard. Okay, so he was the person that would go around and light the incense. That was his job, right? I was like, oh my goodness. I cannot believe that Elizabeth, you guys, is Mary's cousin. Mary's cousin, the one who had Jesus. So if I think about it, if Zachariah and Elizabeth had a baby, cause you know, everybody, his little relatives like, uh, uh, you should be naming him Zachariah. Like, you know, Zachariah Jr. You should call him Zachariah, you know, name him after you. And then, um, Elizabeth said no, because I remember the angel coming to Zachariah and the angel told Zachariah that he needs to name this baby john he needs to name this baby john right and so then when i turned on around i was like wait a minute it was the angel gabriel gabriel told zachariah that he needs to name this baby um john so when he had this baby put the name of john so here goes zachariah up here down and he's like you know what i'm too old and Elizabeth is too old. She's advanced in years. He's like, how can we have this baby? You know, we already too old. And I was tripping. I was like, you know what? That's something because it made me think of of um, Abraham and um, Sarah of how um, they were too young, uh, old to have kids too. So then um, when I was looking at this, the devil was alive. You know it, right? And you ain't in it. So... I'm going to keep on going because you know what? You need to hear it too. So here we go, y'all. Let's get back into it. The angel Gabriel told him that he's going to name this baby John. And because he was doubting, he locked Zachariah's mouth and made it to where he was like silent until the truth came. He said, you're not going to be able to talk and say nothing until this day come to when you're going to have John. And when Sarah get ready to have John, then you'll be able to say something. So it happened just like that. But before I get there, y'all, let me read a little bit of it, okay? Because um, I remember Luke 1, verse 15, it says, For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God. Okay. And verse 17. And he will himself go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. To turn back the hearts of the fathers of the children. And the disobedient. And the unpersuadable to the wisdom of the upright. Which is in the knowledge and holy love of the will of God. In order to make ready for the Lord's people. To be perfectly prepared in the spirit adjusted and disposed and placed in the right moral state Zechariah said to the angel by what shall i know and be sure of this for i am an old man and my wife is old too that's what i was saying i was like y'all ain't this a trip so when i heard about that and stuff and i heard that mary and um <laughs> mary and elizabeth were cousins i was like so that made you know because uh what's his name that made John and Jesus first cousins, huh? 
That means they was first cousins, huh? John and Jesus. So the Holy Spirit came over Elizabeth. Because that baby, that's why they call him Shouting John. Because that baby was jumping for joy when he found out that, you know, that he, because, you know, he was a star that was going to be born. That he was going to be born before Jesus. So that way he can be, um, he can baptize Jesus, okay? That's why he was going to be John the Baptist, okay? John is going to be the one that was going to be baptizing Jesus. And I was like, thank you, Jesus, okay? And rejoicing over all of this. But, you know, it makes me also think about how Mary and Joseph didn't have no room for Jesus, I told y'all, at the end. And because they was expecting a child, I was looking how how i read okay upon this how joseph and mary and, and mary was i believe they was they was engaged but they was not married okay joseph and mary was engaged but they was not married yet okay i don't believe they was married okay but they did have jesus and i like how joseph was always trying to protect Mary because you know how everybody always wanted to try to say it was always something about the women in the Bible, you know, especially like with pregnancy, like Eve and everything. You know, this is something that was going to be special though because this baby was going to be Jesus, okay? And they didn't have no place at the end. And I was thinking that because what had happened was it was like there was a law that went past that everyone should return to their homes in a hometown so that 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 there could be a count and you know what that that made me think of the censor you know how they had the censors when they call uh everybody to check the home to see what um how many people was gonna be at the house so this made like everybody be at the home so when they went around to count to see how many people that's why there was no room at the end because everybody was all in okay in bethlehem and it was so crowded on the streets and every houses and stuff like that and everything was already full so by the time you know, Mary and them got to the, the ends and stuff. The places were all full. And and Jesus didn't have no place for him to be born at. Okay? And I know it's kind of hard. Just think about it. When Joseph came along. And he he was probably already in his feelings that, you know, Mary uh, was with child. And it wasn't from, from him. But you know what? If the angel came and spoke to them. Because back in the day, can y'all see that? How these angels spoke to them. Like, they got a chance to have the angels to speak to them and Jesus to speak to them and tell you, like, your wife, don't be upset at her. She's getting ready to have Jesus. She's getting ready to have Jesus, okay? She's getting ready to have a son, and this son right here is going to be the son of God, okay? So, therefore, I'm like, Joseph, you don't need to get mad, honey. You finna have this beautiful child. You know, Mary's finna have this beautiful child of God. And I just have wanted to share that with y'all right there because... The reason why I even brought this story is because when I thought of that, Mary and Elizabeth were cousins, okay? Elizabeth was having, she was a descendant of Aaron, first of all, because you know Aaron and Moses was brothers, you know? And she was going to have John and Mary's going to have Jesus. Ain't that something? Small world. And then turn around, like I said, Zachariah couldn't speak you know he was like made mute like like dumb you know his tongue was like locked up in the top of his mouth he couldn't say nothing but then <laughs> when the people was trying to say what do you want to name and they Zachariah was like he was like sitting up there signing for a piece of paper and stuff like that and a pencil he's like give me like bring me something to write on he couldn't talk but he was like signing for a, a paper and a pen right so then when he wrote down he said his name is John and he just realized that he can talk he was like oh my goodness like so you knew it was true okay that the angel came to him and told him that that their child was gonna be named John okay but anyways I love y'all you know make sure that you love yourself and love your family and y'all stay together I just have wanted to come and talk to y'all real quick because like I said I had just got you know like another book another bible and and um I was just reading up on, up on some stuff, you know, and this time I went and got another book. You know, I haven't read it yet. Don't know what it's about, but um, I always stick with just the Bible itself because like I said, I only go by 
you know, the King James Version, the Bible, and I also got the Amplified, but it's also good to have um, your own Bible. So, therefore, I have the, the Torah, okay? So, anyways, you know, I wanted to get that, the Torah, and I wanted to look in there, but, you know, I always stay with um, the Word of God, you know, how it is. And um, like I said, it's okay to look in a lot of different books and stuff, read up on books and stuff like that, but always stick you know, with that King James version, all right? And I got, like I said, an amplified. Because the amplified to me, it just breaks down, you know, if you're a beginner, it kind of breaks down words too that you, you probably can't, <laughs> or some, you you know, you guys may not be able to understand some of the words in the book. Sorry, I had a little fumble, a little mess up, you know, there's always a distraction, but you always just keep on just trying to, to push and try to do your best. I love y'all. You know, and thank you so much, whoever's out there listening, whoever supports me. If nobody told you that you're beautiful today, remember that you are just the way that you are. And I love y'all, all right? You know, I may not celebrate holidays and stuff like that, but you know what? Christmas is is a time to, you know, where you stay with your family. And, and it reminds me of Jesus because Jesus was born and it reminds me of the three wise men, you know, bringing the gifts of the frankincense and the myrrh and the gold for Jesus because he is a precious, precious lamb of God. Okay. And I love him. You know, he was, he died for our sins and I love him so much and I love y'all out there. So take care of yourselves. Like I said, let us come just peek in real quick and say something to y'all. All right. Y'all take care of yourselves, and um, I love y'all, all right? Later. Mm.